Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back. We already know how to aggregate a column using aggregation function and group by. And if you have not watched that video, then I would highly recommend that you go ahead and watch that video first and then come back to this one. Links will be in the description in case you want to check that out first. Now I'm going to write a SQL statement here and it will be a select statement from the same table that we've been using so far, open power lifting and the column name would be name and sum of total kg column. Okay. And I'm going to call this as total kg underscore sum. Now, obviously the statement is not completed here. I need to enter a group by statement because I'm using an aggregation function alongside a categorical column. So I'm going to say group by and name. Okay. And if I run this, I get a result here with all the names which are there in my table uh, and data is summarized on total kg column based on sum for each person. Now here's the requirement. I want to filter out this data and I want to say, show me only those values where the sum of total kg is more than 500. Now you might think that entering a where clause here would solve the problem like this, right? Where total kg under source sum is greater than 500. But uh oh, here's a problem. Total kg sum is not recognized because this particular alias name is yet to be run. SQL does not recognize this particular name right now. And even if I write the statement like this, where I put the aggregation column right inside the where clause, SQL will not allow that as well because aggregation functions are not allowed in the where clause. So the only thing remaining to do is once you have grouped the data, you need to apply your clause. But where clause is not allowed to be used after your group by statement. So let me show you if I write where here and even if I write total kg under so sum, this will still give me an error because where clause is only allowed to be used before your group by statement and after your from statement. So in this scenario, only option that you have left is to use a keyword called having and having is meant to be used after your group by statement, not before it. Okay. So when I run this, it will first summarize the entire table for me using the group by statement. And after it has summarized, it will apply that new filter that I gave, which is total kg sum is greater than 500 using the having keyword. So I hope you now understand what you need to do when you have to apply a condition before the group by clause and after summarizing a data using the group by clause. So that is it for today. Stay tuned for more because we're going to cover a lot more interesting and complex topics in upcoming videos. In the meanwhile, I would suggest you go ahead and practice all the concepts that we have learned so far so that you're well versed with all the things that we have wrapped up till now. If you're liking my content, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload new content. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.